the today's topic is tips for avoiding complication in diabetes so you should know about obesity of diabetes a for your a1c control your a1c should be less than 7 or at least 7.5 with comorbid conditions b for your blood pressures it should be less than 140 c for your cholesterol your ldl goal should be less than 70 if you are non cardiac patient or less than 50 if you are cardiac patients d is for your dietary restrictions you should know what you should eat and what you should not eat e for your exercise okay. f follow up with your doctors you should have a regular eye evaluation done there are some renal tests which should be done regularly like a microalbumin protein urea okay. and then you should take care of your foot regular examination of your foot daily at night will help you to prevent foot related injuries and every year you should undergo a master health checkup so that you know where your complications at what stage your complications are Today I am going to tell you about how to prevent diabetes in next generation. Now genetics is one risk factor for type 2 diabetes, but it's lifestyle which makes difference. So your healthy lifestyle choices will determine whether you can postpone or at least delay the onset of diabetes or not. The lifestyle changes includes maintaining a proper weight, eating healthy diet, having a good physical activity, sleeping night time and being happy. If you make these choices at the earliest, you will be able to prevent diabetes in next generation. What else? When you start doing these activities, your kids will start doing that. And that then that way you can also prevent them also from getting diabetes early. Today I am going to tell you about hypoglycemia. Now type 2 diabetic patients are at risk of hypoglycemia when they delay their food intake or there is a mismatch between the food and their medications. They can also have hypoglycemia if the patient is a renal patient or a liver patient. Now what you should do when the patient gets hypoglycemia? Simply they should follow the rule of 15. They should check their blood sugars and if it is less than 70, the patient should take 15 grams of free carbohydrate and check sugars after 15 minutes again. Again if the blood sugars are still on the lower side, repeat the procedure. Like again take your glucose and then repeat after 15 minutes. The patient after the blood sugars gets corrected, the patient should take their normal meals and then recheck the blood sugars and to consult the doctors immediately. Today I am going to talk to you about a topic called women and diabetes. Now diabetes can affect both genders equally but when it comes to women it hits hard. Women with diabetes are at least four times higher risk of getting heart issues, cardiac issues when compared to males and the outcome is poor. Women with diabetes are at a higher risk of getting heart attacks at a younger, younger age when compared to women without diabetes. What more? They are also at a higher risk of diabetes related complications like blindness, renal kidney issues or depressions. During pregnancy, if a female gets diabetes, the child is at a higher risk of miscarriage, birth defects and stillbirth. Today's topic is diabetes in pregnancy. Now before you get pregnant, if you are diabetic, you should speak to your doctor, have your blood sugars under good control and then plan for pregnancy. Some females can get diabetes during the course of pregnancy and it's called gestational diabetes. Here too, once you are diagnosed with diabetes, 
during pregnancy you should have a proper diet and physical activity and control your blood sugars there are few steps few tips where you can you should follow so that you can help them have a healthy baby controlling your sugars well consulting your doctor regularly maintaining a proper weight gain chart maintaining a good physical activity the sugars under good control will prevent the child from being either overweight underweight and free from congenital abnormalities